We are going to Flamingo Island today. Now, here's a little cheat, okay? Because you can only go to Flamingo Island if you're staying at the Renaissance Hotel in Aruba, right? Well, and then there's they give out a few passes for people that don't stay there, but they often run out. So they didn't have any available, which was fine. So we booked a hotel room there. <laughs> we booked one night, and in fact, believe this or not, it's cheaper to book a hotel room there than buy two tickets to Flamingo Island. So now we've got a hotel there, which is great because when we get back from the island, we have somewhere to shower and change and freshen up and shop. So it actually kind of worked out really well. Um, definitely make sure that you are liking this video, subscribed and sharing because I'm all about giving away the best tips anywhere you go. So let's go to Flamingo Island. We have made it. We're gonna check into our room. In reality, we are going to Flamingo Island. Again, it was just a cheaper way to get here. Um, we're gonna take a little boat ride over to Flamingo Island. But look how beautiful this is. Come on now. This is gorgeous in here. This is the Marriott Renaissance. It's freaking gorgeous. But I'm more excited about Flamingo Island. Flamingo Island. We're on the boat. We booked our hotel room. We didn't do anything with it. And now... This nice little setup here. The bar is right here. Um, this is the snorkeling area, beach. We're just missing one thing. Where the fuck are the flamingos? Where the fuck are the flamingos? We're gonna find them. We just saw some really cool iguanas. Um, yeah, we'll see. We made it. We're on Flamingo Island. I've wanted to do this for six years. We've come three times and we've never made it. Okay. Here we are. Look at these guys. Flamingo fat. That's a lot of reading, but please. They're so pretty. Hi, pretty guys. Alright, and this is one of the dishes that I got at Flamingo Island. This is the barbecue baby back ribs. And this is what it's like. There's two restaurants here. Um, this side's definitely better. Much bigger. Got a nice healthy meal. I got ribs. Let's try these babies. That was really good. Yeah. That's really good.
fall off the bone. And the sauce is so tangy and fruity. It's really good. I'm gonna have to steal some. Can't have a rib. Order your own rib. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can have one. Little guy. Don't drown. Okay. What you getting down there? Alright guys, so let me tell you about Flamingo Island in Aruba. So we made the trip. Obviously we weren't staying at the Renaissance and we bought the hotel room for the night to come here, which was actually a better deal than just purchasing two tickets to come on the island. Um, but we already talked about that, okay? So, um, I think it's beautiful. Obviously, these flamingos are gorgeous. Um, there's about, like, maybe eight flamingos. So, in my world, I envisioned a lot of flamingos walking all over the place, and it's just not like that. So, there's, you know, eight. There's a lot of iguanas on the other side. There's a kind of children area beach, and then there's more of the adult style beach. Um, the restaurants were great. I did try to order a grilled snapper, which was on the menu, and they didn't have it. They only had fried. Um, and then we tried to order a few of the drinks, but they were out of cucumber, which was like <clears throat> the whole reason for the drink. So I was kind of a little bit disappointed with that. Um, but overall, definitely a beautiful experience. If you want to see flamingos, it's either gorgeous. Um, just don't expect there to be a ton of them rolling around. Um, overall though, I think it was a great trip and a great idea. Alright, if you're not following me already, like, share, and subscribe. So not much snorkeling here, but there are actually a lot of little fish. So bring your snorkel gear just in case. You see that's like the more kid area. And then on the other side's the adult only. And this is where the boat picks you up and drops you off. And I believe the boats are every like 15 minutes they come in. Here is what this little island looks like. Flamingo Island in Aruba. So it's not very big, but they have a lot to offer. Natural trails, flamingo beach, mangrove beach bar, spa, boat launch, water sports. Got Point, Iguana Beach, uh, restaurant that I think that's where we ate with the ribs. It was really good. Fitness center. Why would you do that? But whatever. Um, beach tennis courts again. Why? But anyways. And then this. Look at these iguanas. Oh, look at that bird. <gasps> Uh, I thought that was for real for a second. I thought that was real, but it's not. This is. The iguanas love oranges. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they do. Oh, wow. That one stole from another iguana. <laughs> I, was trying to get I thought that was real for a second. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> I just think he's real. Hi. You want to be YouTube famous? Yeah. You want to be YouTube famous? What's your name? You look like an Igor. I'm gonna call you Igor. They lie. It says we only eat greens. I use orange. That's orange. Oh, they like citrus. So cool. Look at these guys. These guys look really full. They eat a lot. Um. Iguana Beach, Tower Hut, Sports, la la la. Adult exclusive. That does not mean that it is exclusive, like all inclusive. You know, it is literally just adults only. Um, and it doesn't get like weird. Look at that fish. What is it doing? Um, I really should have snorkeled. I don't know why I did it. I didn't think there would be too much because they're all enclosed, but maybe that. Oh, the planes. I forgot. Look at that. Look. So you see all the planes come in right here. The airport is right over there. So you can see planes take off and land right here. 
Look at this water. Ugh, I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna go back to North Carolina and wish we had water with us. It's just so beautiful. Oh, look at this bird. Hi, you just chilling, huh? It almost looks fake. Like, how are you holding on? Alrighty, 1609, it's actually the highest floor here, that's cool. It's a doable bathroom. Um, room is definitely, you know, small, but I mean, we got the cheapest room. <laughs> yes, the room is small. What is your personal oasis? <sighs> Buying a cheap room to go to Flamingo Island is my oasis. This view is, um, no. Okay. The ocean there. It's not bad. Yeah, I mean, it's really honestly not. For the price, this isn't bad at all. Um, again, though, personal opinion. <sighs> I wouldn't be a huge fan of not being able to have the beach right there, beach access. So that is why you get free access when you stay here to go to Flamingo Island. I would just, I honestly would get bored within a few hours. Like I wouldn't go back. So right here, right at the Marriott Renaissance, um, there's lots of shopping. So there's Louis, there's Gucci, there's Chapard, there's Cartier. Like it's all right here and there's nowhere else on the island that has all this shopping. So, and FYI, another bonus tip guys, not only, do you not have to pay taxes okay, on this stuff? But most of these stores will actually give you a discount. 10%, 20%, 30%, I've seen it. And that is not normal for these high-end designer. So, and it's, it's not fake, like this is the real stuff. So anyways, if you like shopping and you want, if this is probably like the middle of the island and you want access to both sides and do a lot of walking and touring, then this is your place. Plus then you get the free access to Flamingo Island, which is really, really nice and beautiful. Um, to me, it's just a little bit too small. I, I wouldn't love to stay there every day, but it was definitely a fun trip. I'm glad that we did it this way because we're going to shower and then we're going to go shopping. So had we bought the day passes, if they were available, it would have cost us more. So that's why we booked a night at the Renaissance even though we're not even staying here tonight. We're literally just getting dressed right now, showering, and then we're gonna go be on our way. All right, see y'all in a second. All right, we are getting ready to check out. Yes, it is what, five o'clock? Five o'clock, 5 p.m. We didn't stay but a couple hours. We actually went downstairs to the casino, played blackjack, which they have a very different blackjack that I've never played before. Um, that didn't go too well, but we went to regular blackjack and then basically won the money that we spent here today to stay in the room. Now, that doesn't happen all the time. You lose a lot, like there's, you're gambling, but we feel pretty good. <laughs> all right, back to the Hyatt. <laughs> 